Hi, my name is Chino King, and I'm a Senior Solutions Engineer for ArcGIS Indoors at S3. In this ArcGIS Indoors demonstration, we'll be looking at classifying pathways and transitions layers in the indoors data model. After you have performed thinning the preliminary pathways and transitions in your indoors model, you are now ready to prioritize pathways by classifying the path. The Classify Pathways tool is optional and is used for optimizing routable pathways. This tool will rank the thinned pathways as primary, secondary, or tertiary to further improve routing quality and performance. Classifying pathways works by indicating and prioritizing pathways, such as hallways or open areas as primary routes. Then, routes going through offices, rooms, or the other less desirable areas will be named as secondary or tertiary. These pathways are lower in priority level and only used for routing when needed to reach a destination. First, let's create a map and load pathways and transitions feature classes from the network data set. And details, units, levels, and facilities feature classes from the indoors feature data set. Second, Let's review how the floor spaces are laid out for this building and identify locations that can be classified as secondary or tertiary. Looking at the third floor level, I can see that the passage through kitchens would not be an ideal passage for members to pass through. Also, on second floor, one of conference rooms on north of the building uses both doors to pass through and so is the storage unit. Therefore, the conference rooms and storage should be categorized to secondary or tertiary, setting the pathways on corridor areas to be a priority passage. Looking at the first floor, it's probably a good idea to select electrical rooms and lower the prioritization from the passage. So to recap, I have selected conference room, storage, electrical, and kitchen unit types to have lower prioritization for the passage. From the units attribute table, I use the select by attributes tool to select conference room, storage, electrical, and kitchen from the unit type. Keep the selected records intact and let's run the classified indoor pathways geoprocessing tool. I have selected the units layer for the input unit features. Make sure there are selected records to lower the priority level. As for the target pathways, I selected the pathway feature class from the network feature data set. Once you run the tool, let's change the symbology of the pathways feature layer. I changed the primary symbology to unique values and selected pathway rank field to class the rank by different colors. Once I add the show count option, it shows how many pathways are categorized to those specific classes. Once the classification is complete, the data is almost ready to be created as indoor network to use it for the directional wayfinding. This concludes the classifying the pathways, a fourth step to creating the indoor network. Thank you for watching.